This is the Spanish island of Lanzarote. It's located around 130 kilometers off the west coast of Africa, and it's known for its year-round warm weather, beaches, and volcanic landscapes. Hi everyone, it's Megan Lee. From I'm here on the island of Lanzarote, and I'm going to show you the five top attractions here on the island. So let's go. Beginning with the Jameos del Agua, located in the northern part of the island. Its underground lake and lava caves make it a geological phenomenon, not to mention a tourist magnet. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. This cave was created by a volcanic eruption 25,000 years ago. What also happened here is the Spanish architect Cesar Manrique decided to create a cultural center so that everyone could enjoy this natural landscape. This saltwater lake is regulated by the Atlantic Ocean. It's just one of several natural attractions here. This natural lake ebbs and flows with the tides of the ocean, and there's also a special little creature inside. And that is a unique kind of squat lobster, or blind albino cave crab, native to Lanzarote, and the adopted symbol of Jameos del Agua. The cave leads out to a specially designed swimming pool sculpted into the lava landscape. The pool is no longer open for public use, but the cultural center serves as a gathering place for people to relax and enjoy the outdoors. What I love about this place is the contrast between the white architectural aspects and the natural volcanic landscape. It is simply spectacular. Next up, I drive through the Timon Faya National Park. Its name stands for Fire Mountains. Major eruptions took place here from 1730 to 1736. Access to the park is only allowed by car or bus because there is still one active volcano. We're going to get an example of exactly how hot it is below the earth right now. Approximately 400 degrees Celsius. The restaurant El Diablo sits perched above this fiery surface. The most special thing about this restaurant is that they grill with the heat of the volcano. Chef Juan Miguel Guerra explains how it works. Ooh, it's hot. How do you control the temperature for cooking? You control the heat by moving the grills from one side to the other. That side is cooler than this side because the heat of the volcano comes up here. The temperature ranges between 370 degrees Celsius to 260. There's no oven dial to regulate the heat. Does the volcanic heat change the taste of the food? The taste is very different because it's completely ecological. There's no wood flavor. The food is also juicier, not as dry. There's no other taste like it in the world. Then there is only one thing left to do, and that is give it a try. I hit the road again for my next destination, the Jardin de Cactus, also designed by the late César Manrique. I love gardens, so what better place to be than in a cactus garden? And would you believe that there are over 600 different species of cacti here? Let's take a look. There are so many fun varieties that it's easy to lose yourself in the oddly shaped plants. Director Jose Trujillo joins me. What makes this garden so special? Well, this is special because it was a quarry before, okay. and then Manrique decided to, to change into a beautiful place. And we have uh, different elements here, volcanic elements, and also you can see a monster here. A monster? Yeah, All sure. right, <laughs> let's check it out. Every garden needs a sense of humor. He needs to go to the dentist. Moving on, I make a quick stop at the Mirador del Rio. So this cafe is also built into the natural landscape. Stunning views at 480 meters above sea level. Woo, it's quite windy. <laughs> mm. 
Lanzarote has a unique wine culture. The vines grow in circular discs in the volcanic ash. The El Grifo winery is the oldest on the island, co-owned by Fermin Otemendi. How is it possible to produce wine on a volcanic island 250 years ago? Yes, it was a little miracle. <laughs> You know, that was a land of wheat, and it appeared suddenly the volcano, and everything changed. So, about 10, 20 years later, they decide that under those ashes would be wonderful to grow wines. Salud. Salud. On the final stop of my journey across the island, I head back to the coast for a change of scenery. all those lava landscapes, I'm thrilled to be at a sandy beach. This is Playa Grande at Prata del Carmen, and it's also a very special tip. And with that, I wrap up my trip on Lanzarote. Until next time, it's bye-bye. And so the sun sets over this island of volcanoes.